ஹலோ வெல்கம் பேக் டு லேர்ன் ஃபிசிக்ஸ் இன் டுடேஸ் டாபிக் வி ஆர் கண்டினியூவிங் வித் ஆர் கிராவிடேஷன் ஓகே இன் லாஸ்ட் கிளாஸ் வி லேர்ன்ட் அபவுட் த கெப்ளர்ஸ் லாஸ் நியூட்டன்ஸ் லா ஆஃப் கிராவிடேஷன் அண்ட் எக்ஸ்பெரிமெண்டல் டிட்டர்மினேஷன் ஆஃப் கேபிட்டல் லெட்டர் ஜி தட் இஸ் கிராவிடேஷனல் கான்ஸ்டன்ட் ஸோ டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு ஸ்டடி அபவுட் த ஆக்சிலரேஷன் டி டு கிராவிட்டி ஜி we are going to find out the value of g or a formula for g value of g already we know it is 9.8 meter per second square isn't it but how we can derive for earth the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meter per second square so here we are going to find out the formula for acceleration due to gravity formula for g okay first one if it is on the surface of earth on the surface of earth okay here i am considering if earth as a sphere okay i am considering earth as a sphere and on the sphere i am considering an object having mass m okay so and the mass of the earth is capital letter e this is having a radius r e r e is the radius of earth and m is the mass of the object we are going to find out the acceleration due to gravity of this object e okay how we can find out the acceleration due to gravity we know as per newton second law Newton's second law of motion we already learned f force acting on an object which is on the surface of earth as f is equal to m into g isn't it and by newton's law of gravitation newton's law of gravitation we can write down f as force is acting between this object and mass of earth capital f okay so f is equal to g into m1 m2 by r square m1 m2 by r square so while we are considering an object we should consider till the center of the object but here we are not considering that small distance because the radius of earth is very small compared to the size of the object okay so we are not considering the small distance over here so we can write it as g into m e m1 m2 by r square this is the force of gravitation so now so both the side if left hand sides are f only isn't it so we can equate the right hand sides of the above two equations and we will get it as mg equals g into me into small n divided by r e square okay this m and this m will get cancel so we will get the value of g as g m e divided by r e square this is the acceleration due to gravity of earth okay acceleration due to gravity of earth formula is capital g m e by r e square g is the acceleration the gravitational constant that is 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power minus 11 newton meter square per kilogram square m e is the mass of earth and r e is the radius of earth while we are substituting those values we will get the value of g okay clear so this is how we will be deriving an equation for g if the object is on the surface of earth okay clear now we are going to find out what will be the value of g if we are keeping an object at a height h from the surface of earth okay so next we are going to derive that okay acceleration due to gravity at an altitude h altitude h or at a height h okay here i am considering this is earth having mass m e and radius r e i am considering an object here which is having mass small m which is at a height h from the surface okay then what will be the value of g at height h 
This is what we are going to find out. Okay. But we know G at the surface of earth is, just now we derived. What is the formula for G at the surface of earth? Capital G into M E divided by R E square. Okay, so for height h, what is, I am considering a sphere having radius this much. So what will be the radius of this L? This portion, what will be the radius? Re plus h. So here instead of Re, I can substitute it as Re plus h. So g of h equals g m e divided by Re plus h the whole square. Okay, so now I am considering this R E plus H the whole square. R E plus H the whole square. This one, I am taking R E outside from this. For that, for understanding that clearly, see R E, I am taking it outside. For that, so you will think how this R E will be coming over here, isn't it? So, for most simplest form, I can write it like this. Isn't it? I am multiplying and dividing with 1 RE. Now RE is here, right? So I can take it outside. So RE into 1 plus here what will be left out? H by RE will be left out. The whole square. Okay. So this one I can write it as RE square into 1 plus H by RE the whole square. Isn't it? RE square into 1 plus h by re the whole square okay here now i am substituting this value over here re square into 1 plus h by re the whole square so g at height h equals g m e divided by instead of re plus h the whole square what i can write re square into 1 plus h by re the whole square so g m e divided by re square into 1 plus h by re the whole square okay here g m e divided by re square into this 1 plus h by re the whole square i am taking it to the numerator while i am taking it to the numerator it will become my plus 2 will become minus 2 Okay, so what is GME by RE square? G at the surface of earth, isn't it? Small letter G into, see, 1 plus H by RE the whole power minus 2. How we can solve this? See, we have a binomial equation, 1 plus X the whole power N equals 1 plus NX plus N into N minus 1 into divided by 1 into 2 into X square plus etc. Like that we will get. But here we know what is this H by RE. RE is a very high value depending on the height of the H. We can take it maximum till here or maximum height. So anyway, some two, no, that's maximum we, we will be taking it to a distance of yes, 200 meters, 300 meters or, or 1 kilometer distance we will consider, isn't it? So comparing to this value of RE, since RE is very much greater than H, what we will do, we will be neglecting the higher powers of S, x square, x cube, those terms we will neglect. Okay, so 1 plus nx will be remaining. So g at a height h will be equal to g into 1 plus, what 1 plus x the whole power n, 1 plus n x. Isn't it? So we will get it as g into 1 minus 2h by re. Okay, g at a height h is equal to g into 1 minus 2h by re. This is the formula. That means as height increases, what will happen to the acceleration due to gravity? Acceleration due to gravity decreases as the height increases by a factor of g into 2h by re. That much of factor, for that much of factor, the acceleration will be uh, decreasing for a term, not factor, g minus g2h by 
R E. So it is this much of uh, term. It is G is decreasing. That means as height increases, what will happen to the acceleration due to gravity? It is decreasing. Okay, clear? Easy uh, derivation, right? So next we are going to study what will happen to the acceleration due to gravity if it is going to a depth. Okay, now on surface we learn, height we learn. Now we are going. Now we are going to learn about the acceleration due to gravity at a depth d. Okay. Acceleration due to gravity at depth d. Okay. Here if this is the radius of earth. This is earth having me mass and R e is the radius of earth. Then I am considering a mass at a depth d from the surface. I am considering a mass over here. Okay. So, what will be the acceleration due to gravity at a depth d? Okay. So, we know the value of g is g m e divided by r e square. Now, we are taking a different approach. Okay. So, here density. How we can find out the density? Density equals mass by volume. Isn't it? Then what will be the mass? Density into volume. Density uh, representation is rho. So rho into V. In the case of earth, we are considering earth as a sphere. So what will be the volume of a sphere? Rho into 4 by 3 pi R E cube. Okay. 4 by 3 pi R cube is the formula for the volume. Isn't it? So we are getting mass of earth as 4 by 3 pi r e cube. Now if I am substituting it over here, what I will be getting? Capital G into rho into 4 by 3 pi r e cube divided by r e square. Isn't it? So this r e square and r e cube will get cancelled. So we will get it as 4 by g rho 4 by 3 pi r e. Okay. This is g at the surface. Now I am going to find out if it is having a depth d. What will be the radius? This formula how it will become g into rho into 4 by 3 pi. Instead of r e we can write it as r e minus D. I am considering a distance here. So this distance will be the rest of the, if I am considering a, so a sphere like this, what will be the radius of the sphere? Re minus D. Isn't it? So it will be Re minus D. Now I am going to find out what will be GD by G. Okay. What will happen? G rho 4 by 3 pi everything will get cancelled. So we will get it as Re minus D divided by Re. Re minus D means Re by Re is 1 minus D by Re. Therefore GD will be equal to G into cross the, this is GD by G right. So cross multiplying we will get it as 1 minus D by Re. Okay, G at a depth D while we are considering G D will be equal to G into 1 minus D by R A. So what will happen as the depth increases? Depth increases also this acceleration due to gravity is decreasing. As height increases also acceleration due to gravity is decreasing. So acceleration due to gravity will be maximum on the surface of earth. Okay, clear. That is G value on the surface we got it as G M E divided by R E square. And G at a depth D is G into 1 minus 2 uh, D by R E. And G at a height H or altitude H is equal to G into 1 minus 2 H by R E. So, these are the formulas to find out G. All are easy derivations, right? So, G value we got it as 9.8 G at the surface of earth. While we are considering it as 9.8 meter per second square. But when we are considering the other planets. Suppose if other um, planets or any other moon. If uh, Suppose if I am considering the moon. It is 1 by 6th of gravity of earth. 
okay so that is why we will feel that weightlessness effect in the uh, because g is very less 1 by 6th of the gravity of earth that much only the in moon g will be 1 by 6th of gravity of earth okay that is why we will feel like weightlessness over there that is m g is weight isn't it since g is less we will feel that our weight is very less like that we will feel okay so the attraction will be less over there because since g is less so clear all of you all these derivations are easy i think so i'm winding up for today i hope all of you understood all those things and if you like the channel please don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching bye